Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and this is Plant Mama from Pacific Northwest. Just want to give you some updates. Uh, this is the first, uh, this is actually the Begonia Terrarium Kit that um, I featured in my first uh, video. I was reviewing that and I found out that it was really dark in that particular video but then I would like to give you an update on how it looks now. Um, it's been I believe three weeks and this is how it looks. You can see that uh, the reason for my update is to get some get some cuttings from this because it is getting taller for those two begonias the the begonia uh yti or begonia mac maculata yti is so tall as well as uh, the begonia ampioxus so i am planning to uh prune it so it won't it won't be touching the top of the terrarium kit it's just loving this setup so much and look at this this is actually my favorite begonia here plus the begonia julau because of the the variegation this one in my first video uh, the begonia raha this is a very small leaf at that time that the one in, in the center i hope you can see it but yep yeah, that one sorry for the condensation but uh yeah because it's this it's high humidity inside the terrarium kit so as if you remember that particular uh this particular leaf is actually very small three weeks ago and now wow it's really loving this setup when i put them together i thought it's gonna take a while uh, for them to grow but i guess this is what happens when you give them a really good uh, growing condition so i am going to show you what to do again we have this um the um, scissors and i am going to sanitize everything before cutting um, or pruning our begonia so for sanitizing i only use um, the regular uh, alcohol wipes and uh, the scissors i already washed those so wash the scissors and uh, for uh, for the scissors, it, it, it will be better to use a really good uh, quality um, cutter or scissor so that you make a really good cut when pruning the begonia. That will be the best uh, way to do it. So let me just... I was actually getting the alcohol wipes and then sanitizing it well also make sure that your hands are clean so you don't introduce any bacteria any disease to the plant that is something that i learned i before i was just thinking oh it's a plant it's okay but after uh, i learned you know you live and you learn i learned that some of the the plants are very uh, picky they're very sensitive so you have to make sure that you ha handle them well and you don't introduce bacteria from your hands or from your uh, tools so uh let me do uh let me cut i'm planning to cut here in this uh, for the ampioxus in this location and then for the uh, begonia maculata this is where i'm going to make the cut so that's the plan uh, let me show you and i hope i'm doing this properly this is the first time i'm going to cut an ampioxus um i know that um begonia ampioxus are more sensitive 
but the begonia uh, maculata whitey eye it, i i propagate this really well i i propagated so many of this so it's good i know that we're okay but for ampiox uh, ampioxus um we'll see how it goes first time doing this and i hope i'm doing the right thing there you go did a cut for the ampioxus it has a beautiful beautiful leaves and a pink actually the pink dots you can see the pink dots there right and then let's work on the other one uh the begonia maculata this is a very easy plant to propagate you just put it in water or moss and they grow that's it you, you do it that way and you have new plant and um i didn't know that it's it's that easy um i don't have to do anything just just that so for the ampioxus we have here um, a smaller, uh, I, I prepared a smaller pot for Ampioxus and I'm going to grow it um, semi-hydro and then I have prepared a jar for Begonia maculata and also going to grow this semi-hydro. So, Let's start with the Ampioxus. I didn't know that it really likes the setup in the terrarium. So I heard that when you prune the begonia, they grow well. So that's why I'm doing this. And then that's how it looks right now. So you have the space. Um, for them to grow again i'm waiting for uh begonia julau to be taller too it's a bit slow for me i think it's the slowest one so far this uh, begonia raha i will only cut this when we have enough um when it's taller and we have enough leaves so yep so let's start the putting the Hydrotone. So hydrotone are also sanitized. I washed it and um, washed it well. Remove all the dust and uh, washed it in hot water. And then the plan is to propagate it in a semi-hydro condition or semi-hydro setup. And then I'll give you updates after a few weeks. And I hope that this will be, this is the first time for me for, for this begonia. So I'm, I'm hoping that it will like that condition. I think it will if I make it, um, uh, put it in a very high humidity environment. And I will not be touching it. So one thing with the, some of the rare begonias is you don't want to touch that. I learned my lesson. I purchased um, a bit expensive begonia. It's called um, begonia dart, dart Diana or begonia dart bader. I did touch it and it melted. So I will not be doing that in this begonia. I'm, I will be very careful handling it. There you go so this is the setup and i'm gonna put it in um in a container and make sure that the water is up to here so that it's the humidity is really high and the water will actually um, go up to the stems and um making sure that it will um develop roots making sure that the the plant will develop roots so this is the setup for now for this one and i'll give you updates uh, after a few weeks so for the 
for the other one for the begonia maculata this is a very easy plant actually um you can grow this you can propagate it uh, in water just water alone and it will develop roots or you can prop i was able to propagate it in um just moss and it will propagate or uh, will develop roots in about two weeks it's that easy so let's put those in there and put this um A lot of people really likes this begonia because it can grow in uh, room condition regular uh, room condition and i have a big plant of uh, begonia masculata white that i actually keep in a regular room condition and so far so good that's the mother plant of all of this begonia I was able to propagate so many of this, gave it to my friends. Some of them, uh, some people um, bought it in uh, a flea group. And yeah, that's how easy it is. Just make sure when you put the hydrotone, everything is clean. So you don't introduce any bacteria. And the only requirement for this is water nutrient and light and that's it it will be happy i'm promise you i've done this uh i've done propagation of begonia maculata several times i think i have propagated so many so many of them and gave it away and some i i have actually offered in um, local um, sale here the in Facebook and some people are really loving that condition so here you go um, just like the ampioxus I'll be putting this in a humidity humidity dome so the leaves will be will stay like this and at the same time, it will grow uh, roots well. So one thing to remember in propagating, make sure you clean everything. You, cre you clean all the hydrotone, the tools, your containers. And when you make the cut, make sure that you have sanitized everything. So that's it for me. And I hope you learned something. Um, from the pruning of my terrarium, begonia terrarium. I'm looking forward to pruning this one, uh, begonia julau and begonia raja. So we'll see. I'll also make a video of that. Um, I'm loving, see, I really love seeing the begonia thriving now because I killed a lot of them. I don't know how to grow them before. And, you know, I just learned from a friend of mine that I can keep it inside the small terrarium and it will grow. So I made a, this is actually a made up terrarium. It's not like the, the um, fancy terrarium. I just put sphagnum moss, put them in there and they just grow. I put some water um, at the bottom. And the bottom should have um, hydrotone as a drainage and that's it you cover it and they will just grow that's all i need for this setup so i hope you guys learned something uh, from me today uh, from the terrarium kit pruning to the propagation of the begonia and i'll be giving you some updates on this in a few weeks Thanks and have a good day and uh, please subscribe and hit that uh, notification button and I'll see you soon. Be safe and healthy everyone. Bye!